Is it a good idea to purchase the MSI Inspire 2X OC version of the 16GB RTX 5060 Ti? Let's find out. In this video, we'll take a look at its design, features, as well as noise and thermal performance. By the way, if you are interested in this graphics card or any other products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon at the links in the description below. The new Inspire series by MSI looks quite nice indeed. Take a look at this. Yeah, metal shroud, plastic over here, but mostly metal. And I'm loving this look. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Minimalistic functional and tasteful. This card features one HDMI 2.1 and three DisplayPort 2.1 for a maximum of four displays. The cooler already looks much better than the Ventus 2X, which I did not like at all because the Ventus 2X version of the 5060 Ti is a little bit too loud for my liking. I'm hoping that the Inspire 2X is much better in that regard because I can see three hit pipes already and they span pretty much across the entire hit sink. That's nice. The Ventus 2X has just two pipes. The memory modules are actively cooled by the hit plate over there. And there's even active cooling for the VRMs. That right there is connecting the VRMs to the heatsink, helping to dissipate the heat. Power is delivered via a single 8-pin connector at the top over here. Nice and reliable, old school 8-pin. This feels like a high-end GPU without a high-end price tag. Yeah. This is not like one of those uh, extremely pricey GPUs. No, it's not. There are more expensive uh, models. <laughs> but this one, it really feels good. This really feels premium, not only because there is a lot of metal used. The build quality on this card feels spot on. High quality, solid, very nice. In terms of size, this thing is 207 millimeters long. And let's take this off. 119. Yeah, looks like 119 millimeters tall. So this is very compact and it will fit into most cases. Although it must be noted that it's not a two slot GPU. It takes up roughly two and a half slots. Here is what it looks like as part of a PC build. This case is indeed a little bit too big for the Inspire 2X 5060 Ti, but yeah, just check it out how compact this thing is. It is much shorter than a standard ATX motherboard. Take a look at that. It is tiny. This card will fit perfectly into an ITX build or any other compact form factor. Furthermore, I think that this graphics card's color scheme works really well in a black build or even in something more unusual like I have going on over here white and black. This works well too. Now let's take a look at how the MSI Inspire 2 X5060 Ti behaves in games under full load. We are in Cyberpunk 2077. I always test in this game because it's like the worst case scenario for most GPUs. We are in a fairly cool room, 22 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The GPU temperature is 63 degrees Celsius 
and the GPU core clock is at 2617 MHz. The GPU fans are spinning at 43%, that is 1600 RPM. Well, just above that. And the power consumption is fairly low, just above 150 watts. But what about the noise? Well, let's take a listen using this wireless microphone. Despite its small size and the fact that it only has two fans, the Inspire 2X is nearly silent. It is very quiet. Essentially, it blends in with the noise that uh, the rest of the system is making and this Be Quiet PC case features high-quality, near-silent Be Quiet fans. Personally, I am very happy with the lack of noise coming from this graphics card, which means that I can enjoy my games even when using speakers, no headphones necessary. In terms of gaming performance, the 16GB RTX 5060 Ti is most suitable for 1440p gaming, but it also does well at 1080p. Furthermore, thanks to DLSS, and if you don't mind tweaking some of the graphics settings, you can even play the latest games on a 4K monitor or even on an ultra-wide 3440x1440p monitor. I made separate videos exploring the gaming experience at those resolutions. I'll link them in the description below. Check them out if you're interested in learning more. In conclusion, I recommend the MSI Inspire 2 XOC version of the 5060 Ti. It looks good, it is well built, uses high quality materials and a lot of metal. Shroud as well as backplate are metal, which is great. And it is nearly silent. It runs really cool as well, just above 60 degrees Celsius. It's a great graphics card. I can't ask any more out of it. As a result, I highly recommend it. If you are interested in this graphics card or any other products featured in this video, you can find them on Amazon at the links in the description below. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this graphics card and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful then don't forget to reward my work with a like, it really helps out a lot. And subscribe for more videos like this if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.